so I finally got my new pet and um, apparently the clues I gave were too easy because like three or four people did guess what it is. It is an armadillo. He is a three banded armadillo and I've been looking for one for three years and every time I contact somebody about them they are regularly available it seems but it seems like usually people prefer to uh, sell them to zoos and uh, so-called animal ambassadors and you know programs and stuff like that and I didn't expect to have this much trouble finding one but it took about three years to finally find someone who would sell one to me so I finally have one now and um, and here's something else that I'll that I'll probably talk about later I actually ran into a lot of trouble um, some legal trouble trying to get him in. When I tried, when we were applying for the health certificate, I was actually told that they were 100% illegal to enter the state or even be owned. And everybody I contacted was, seemed very sure of themselves. So I had to argue with a lot of people before they finally realized that they were wrong and I was right. And and finally got the health certificate signs so that he could be imported into my state so that just goes to show that even when people say it's not legal it still might be people just don't know what they're talking about but anyway now I'm going to see if I can pull him out for the first time I've never I don't even know if I've even seen an armadillo before or this particular type of armadillo. I certainly have never touched an armadillo before. So let's get him out. Oh, is that a hard boiled egg in there? That's interesting. He's probably asleep. The shell is very warm and he's very, very heavy. <laughs> Looks like a giant roly poly. He is just completely fascinating. I, I honestly, I can't believe he's real. He does not look or feel real. Hopefully I'm not stressing him out too much. That one's balling up now. Let's see if I can get him out here. There we go. Okay, so now he's balled up on me. I can't believe that this is a mammal. It's like it's some kind of crab or something. <laughs> The shell is warm. It just it feels so weird. You can feel the life coming out of him. Like it's just feels like he's like a moving rock or something. Anyway, he's been on the road for about a day or two. So I'm just going to let him rest after I take a look at him and I'm going to put him away so he can sleep but there he is I've never seen anybody have a three banded armadillo as a pet that is non USDA licensed no animal ambassador no zoo no nothing so I feel like he might be one of the few and thank goodness for that I really really wanted one of these and he's fully legal 
He seems to be like he's adjusting. Ignore those other sounds. Just That's just my spring hair. He's supposed to be asleep right now. So yeah, he's really, really cool. What are you doing? He really doesn't seem like a mammal. Ignore the messiness of my broom, but yep, there he is. Definitely one of the most interesting animals I've ever gotten. I, I prefer animals that are kind of representative of unusual evolutionary processes, and this is just definitely exemplifies that perfectly. Well, anyway, I'm going to let him adjust, and so hopefully I'll be able to make some videos with him later. Anyway, thanks for watching, and subscribe if you want to see more of him.